Welcome back to Cinema Flex Music Picks. I'm Davy, your host with the most, the beast with the least. The least I can do today is apologise for no uploads in a while. I've not been terribly well. I'm still on the road to recovery. But um, regardless, here we are. And here we remain. But let's move somewhere else. Forwards. Let's talk about um, something I should have talked about two weeks ago but um, just haven't been well enough to do so um, so a bit behind the curve here but who cares as if I wasn't going to talk about Neil Young's Harvest 50th Anniversary Edition um, so as always I'll do a run through of what's included in the box there's the original back original front with the hype sticker there um, and then anyone who wishes to only see what's included in the box that they're buying can leave with my good wishes um, and don't need to sit through my commentary for the rest of it. Um, so you get the original album with Gatefold and it comes with the Orange Reprise labelled CD and the original lyric sheet. on the original um, almost cloth like um, paper that was used and then you get your Harvest Outtakes CD now this may seem like a rip off because it's only three tracks that's the outtakes that haven't been released so that's all there is um, the other ones have been released on um, um, Archives Volume 1, you know, extended versions of the, the tracks and things. And on the vinyl version, this makes more sense because it's a 7-inch single rather than a CD. So, yeah. is what it is. No point complaining. You get BBC Live in Concert on DVD. Um, so this was recorded in 1971, February the 23rd, and broadcast on April the 1st, same year. So out on the weekend, Old Man, Journey Through the Past, Heart of Gold, Don't Let It Bring You Down, A Man Needs a Maid, Love and Mind, and Dance, Dance, Dance. And then, thoughtfully, we are also given the exact same on... CD, but I like that they've not just used the same cover twice, they give you two different covers for the BBC CD and DVD and ditto in the back. That was thoughtful, because they could have cheapened out there. A gatefold might have been nice, both of them. Um, and then we get, one not open it out because it's just the back cover again, but we get a poster of that without the CPI added um, so. oh well we'll open it up let's not be lazy uh. six panel the main course for many of us the film Harvest Time we will come to that and then the wonderful book hardback people always do that in these videos don't they hardback as if and then do that as if as if you're gonna be lying about these things people are strange so harvest at 50 harvest 50 thanks for staying for me so long more coming Neil there's always more coming. He's already postponed about 10 things till next year. So this is a wonderful combination of um, photos and of uh, annotation and commentary, which takes us, as you can see there, from after the gold rush through to the harvest story. So it's basically the, well, journey through the past, if you will. Um, taking us from, from one seminal album to the next. 
um, and the difficult sessions and Neil's bad back and his relationship with, funnily enough, there she is, Caddy Snodgrass. There's the famous lake where you can listen to the speakers. And loads of great pictures along the way. We'll go through the whole thing, it'll be a bit dull, but uh, let's see if we can find some. That's a great shot. And there's uh, Mr. Stills, Mr. Nash. And then it does give you the uh, lyrics again, which I'm not quite sure why we need them twice. But um, we get more photos this way, so yeah. who's complaining? Me? Not me. And band shot and ends up with credits for the original LP, the BBC sessions, the film and the box set itself. So plenty of credits there and ends with a Love the picture of Broken Ranch News. Broken Arrow Ranch News Ranch. California. Bloody motorcycle. I think it's easy rider out there. You're in the middle of traffic, you're going nowhere very fast. So, um, thank you very much for those who just tuned in for the what do you get part you can, you can tune out now with my thanks um, for anybody who wants my commentary on what you get here I wish you'd piss off um, obviously the original album needs no introduction so I'll give you one um, no I mean it's of course a classic by any metric isn't it um, I mean out on the weekend is, is one of Neil's best openers for my money with um with um, see the lonely boy out on the weekend sets a very melancholy opener to the album which I think works perfectly for where it needs to be um, Harvest and the title track um, takes us in more of a piano led territory which again gives us an indication of one of the other aspects of this album the more piano led style which we'll come to know um, a Man Needs a Maid introduces the big orchestral style with the BBC uh, London Philharmonic. Um, it sounds absolutely massive on this remaster from, uh, it's the same remaster that was used for the archives and for the um, original album series uh, reissues. Um, Heart of Gold, do you need an introduction? Do you need that? Um, yeah, with uh, James Taylor and uh, Linda Ronstadt. Nails only number number. It's a racket. Imagine driving that. You'd be deaf. You had to drive on that bloody thing. Um, so yeah, Nails only number one record, Heart of Gold, um, which took him firmly into the middle of the road, so he headed for the ditch. Um, are you ready for the country? Um, kind of strange boogie rocker with apocalyptic overtones. It sounds more like something out of the Ditch trilogy to me. Old Man, again very melancholy um, and, and returns Linda Ronstadt and James Taylor to proceedings. James plays banjo on it despite having never played in, uh, playing banjo before. Um, there's a World, um, again uses the London Symphony. Um, but it doesn't quite hit the same heights as Man Needs a Maid. Um, but it's a really cool lead in because it's shorter, it's a really cool lead in to Alabama, um, which is just stunning. It's one of Neil's better angry tracks, I think, from this period. Um, it's a bit like the Southern Man of this record, I suppose. Um, it hits a lot of the same beats, but you've got Crosby and Still showing up to do backing vocals as well. Needle, needle and the Damage Done. Um, one of the most 
infamous songs from this um, because of the message um, and interestingly re recorded at Rice Hall so that means this is the second time it's been re-released in the space of a couple of months because we just had it, the actual concert released um, as part of the first three in the official bootleg series and then closes with words um, between the lines of age um, with additional vocals by Stills and Nash um, one of my favourite new tracks of all time um, it's kind of it's like the big crazy horse epic that you would expect but it's not crazy horse it's still the stray gators so I like it when he gets one band to sound more like the other so crazy horse sounding more introspective and acoustic or the stray gators sounding more out there and electric and ragged um, and the promise of the real can do both that's why they're such a great live band for him. Um, but yeah, that's that's the album commentary, if you like. Um, the three outtakes, we know these songs. If you're a new young fan, you know the songs anyway. Bad Fog of Loneliness is absolutely gorgeous. Journey Through the Past has been officially released as a live version on um, um, Time Fades Away, um, which is, again, this year just been re-released on CD for the first time. Um, but this is a different version, this is the studio cut and Dance Dance Dance, similar situation, we've had a live version out but this is the studio version. So these are the three unreleased outtakes from the actual sessions. Um, could he have padded it out and made a, you know, added some more rarities? Yeah, but it would have been, you know, cannibalising the archives or just adding on some live things that he's probably got other plans for. So. I'm happy enough with this, considering the price of the set, this was only £45, um, and then you get, again, the CD and DVD versions of the BBC session, which is absolutely insane, um, it's just Neil solo, and it's Neil on piano or guitar, he alternates, um, but it's fascinating to hear, to hear him go from say the um the the piano of love and mind to um the guitar of journey through the past and and jump back and forth and really give you advanced versions of these because these were all unreleased songs at the time apart from don't let it bring you down um which had been released on after the gold rush um but so he did a whole bbc session of tracks that wouldn't be released for another year, um, or in some cases for decades, like Dance, 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 and uh, well, Journey Through the Past would be technically released on uh, Time Fades Away, but not in a studio version, so int very int very new, wasn't it, to, uh, to not really care if, <laughs> if you're not getting the hits. The poster, I don't think you need a review of a poster, but it's, it's nice quality. This is the main course. Harvest Time. It's a documentary about... It's not really about the making of Harvest. It's about Neil's life over this period of time. Um, and it comes with a little credits too um, so it follows him pillar to post really just as he goes through day to day um, which just happens to include the harvest sessions but you get downtime as well and you get him travelling over um, to the UK to record with the Philharmonic um, to do Ma uh, Man Needs a Maid um, and you get to see him and uh, Carrie um, kind of frolicking. Um, you get some um, studio banter. You get a really great long, but you get to see um, the recording sessions, including a real long version of words, which is just. Um, you get um, 
Crosby, Stills and Nash when they turn up that's all recorded too so you get to see the interactions and they're all kind of having fun and there's loads of banter being thrown around so it's 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 great to see not just a little bit of footage but an actual document of that full period um, where you get Neil's life documented in this period where a lot of it is in pain because he's had you know, get the bad back at the time um, but a lot of it is is just a real insight into his lifestyle at the time um, his very laid back um, he calls himself a rich hippie at one point um, which kind of sums it up um, but also very much if you follow um, if you watch for example the making of um, the the latest album uh, World Records if you watch the making of that that was streamed on Neil Young Archives very much says that this is where that whole ethos began you know the recording in the barns and, and things like that I mean they, they have um there's, there's a grand piano in the middle of a barn covered in hay in this and that's where the piano for Are You Ready For The Country is recorded and things. Nuts. And, but that very homespun, let's record in the barn. Oh, is that what it calls the studio? No, it's just an actual barn. It really goes back to this period and he's never quite let that go. Yeah, he does go to actual recording studios and things, but more often than not he will retreat back to his own his own world um, and it's just a wonderful look at um, at, at this period um, it really is fantastic to to kind of see um, just this document of not the making of an album I wouldn't say it's that I'd say the album is background noise but you do get a lot of the album you do get to see a lot of the sessions but I'd say it's more a document of Neil's life at the time which just happens to include the album being made um, but it does have versions of I mean you get to see the makings of Alabama uh, Words You're Ready for the Country Stray Gator Walks which is just a mess around uh, Man Needs a Maid again recorded over in London There's a World Ditto um, Out in the Weekend Heart of Gold Old Man and Harvest um, so yeah, it's a fantastic, fantastic document, which I hope they release this separately as they have done with some other uh, new DVDs and Blu-rays and things, uh, because this should be available to people who perhaps don't have the money for the box set, but do want, you know, this document. Um, this is essential, absolute essential. It's one of the best things I've seen all year. Oh, although I was on quite a lot of painkillers when I watched it, but then he was on quite a lot of painkillers when he was in it, so hey. Folks, I appreciate you giving me 18 minutes of your time while I ramble on. I hope I've not been too incoherent given my current woes, um, but I shall return as soon as possible with hopefully better voice, better. Uh, better everything really I could I could really just use a recharge you know and hopefully my whole my whole body will just be better uh, make a new one who knows who knows anyway thank you very much once more and uh, stay very safe out there eh? there's some crazy bikers some motorcycle mamas some crazy bikers love and mercy my dears love and merci.